my channel. So today I'm going to go through all of my palettes that are on the chopping block. I definitely have some palettes still in my collection that I kept from my last declutter where I probably shouldn't have kept them, I just didn't want to get rid of them. But I think what I'm going to do is I am going to try to use these palettes as much as possible over the next two months. I don't want to give myself too much time because I think then I will wait to the last minute and then, <laughs> then I'll have to get rid of all of them. So I'm going to give them two months. I think that's a short amount of time um, and also tricky for me to use all these palettes because I'm trying to use other palettes at the same time. I'm always, always have to have like have them in rotation at the moment. And um, yeah, it's been, you know, I'm juggling a lot of eyeshadow palettes, okay? <laughs> anyway, I've noticed in my videos that I look outside the window a lot and my eyes are always like this. So I do apologize if that is really, really distracting. It's just the outside is distracting to me when I'm filming and I, I either look at you in the lens or look at you in the viewfinder and most of the time I find the outside a little bit more interesting. But I'm going to try to not avert my eyes too much anymore because oh, I just did it because I uh, really noticed it in my editing. So apologies on that. Anyway, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven palettes here to go through. One of them actually just used today and I wasn't going to include it in this list, however, it's like really disappointed me and I think it's just on its last legs, unfortunately. Okay, so the first one I have here is not gonna be a surprise to anyone. I've just been holding on to it, just wishing and hoping that I would end up falling in love with it and I have not and it is from Sigma and it's the Corda Rosa palette. I just, I just can't get behind this palette. I really don't like the formula. I think the mattes are fine aside from this matte. I, I think the mattes are fine. I mean, I've hit pan in this and that wasn't very difficult. The shivers in here, <laughs> I mean, I hate this one. I hate this one. I think campfire is pretty. And I think that's about it in terms of the shimmers. I'm, I don't really care for this one either. So, you know, I'm a shimmer person and I like to have pretty shimmers, whether they're super bright and metallic or not. I like them to be pretty, and this is really gritty, this one. This one, you just get hard pan, and I really don't like the actual color itself. This matte doesn't even work, so uh, d there's no pigment on this matte. So I've had a lot of issues with this palette, and it is an expensive palette, and the first Sigma palette, and the only Sigma palette that I have ever had and used, and it's really put me off buying anything else from Sigma, even though I've wanted to, like I've put pretty much all of their last releases in the last two years in baskets, and I just haven't, I haven't bought them. It's a shame. So in the next two months, if I don't change my mind about this palette, I'm gonna end up decluttering it. I'm, I'll let you know, because I think I'll probably do like a mid-year declutter, uh, and I'll probably do that more in July, maybe even August time. I know that's not mid-year anymore, but for me, that's how I equate mid-year, even though at that point we'll only have like four months. Left. You, know, you know, I don't want to think about it. I don't think about it because like next, next month is actually mid-year and I'm not ready to declutter anything yet. So um, I'm also going to have my parents here in August, so I'm really not going to be filming. So I'm going to try to do a lot of pre-filming to post in August, just so I have a little bit of something, something going on. So in the next two months, if I don't do much with this in June and July, then yeah, it's on the chopping block and I most likely will have to say goodbye to it. Um, it's old, there's no point, I can't really give this to anyone either. So anyway, moving on, we have two palettes here. Actually, let's do, let's do the whole brand because I have three palettes here, all from the same brand and I got them all at the same time in a mystery box and these are all Odin's Eye palettes. Now I have been working on the Alva quite a lot. I do have it currently in my uh, pan those eyeshadows. So you can see I already have two pans in here too uh, from previous times when I rolled it into projects. I think I got them in my Zodiac panner, but this one I'm working on now my pan those eyeshadows, which I should hopefully have a pan in in the next week. So I'm excited to hit a pan, but at the same time, I don't really feel like keeping this palette because I don't like it. I don't think the formula is worth it. And I know this is an older palette for Odin's Eye and everyone's like, try the new formula, but I, I have, and I don't feel like it's all that different. There are some pretty shimmers. The lilac uh, shade is pretty. Cherry Blossom is fine. Um, I think Carnation is okay, 
but but I don't feel like I need to keep this palette so I don't know it's definitely on the chopping block because I haven't really I don't know I just don't feel like I need to keep it and then these two I also got in that mystery box I have the Verdandi and the Alva 2 mini ocean so these two what I think I'll do is I think I'll probably just depot the middle shade because you have this shade where you have two little um, shades in there <laughs> A slightly bigger pan and I think I'll just depot this one because I don't care for these two and I don't care for these two in terms of keeping them they're just not special enough for me to keep them like why would I keep them I have these shades as like Colourpop singles already in my collection the same with these um, these ones are pretty this one looks like a blue but it's really not it has like a flip of um, yellow and it really is the prettiest shade in this palette and I think also the um, sort of peachy orange shade is also quite pretty so I would say this palette alone th this middle two shades these middle two shades are very pretty and if all of the shimmers from Odin's Eye were like this then I would I would love it but I don't so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna depart this I but I'm gonna you know it's basically on the chopping block I'm gonna give it a couple months Maybe I fall in love with this, you know, because I did swatch this yesterday and it's a peachy color. I do like peachy colors, so I don't know. If I fall in love with it, maybe I'll save some more shades, but I think ultimately I'll depot the middle one. This one, I'm a little bit unsure if I want to depot the middle one just simply because I don't think these two shimmers are as pretty as those last two. Um, the only shade that I think potentially I could keep is this one, but I think I already have a ColourPop single that color. From the blue moon so just watch them so you can see they're just dry these are really dry these ones so I've ha I had to go into this one quite a lot and I don't know if you notice it's just not a clear turquoise I just find it a little murky so let me just do it here I just don't think those are very pretty <laughs> maybe you're like yelling at me on the screen but I don't know if I need to keep those to be honest, I never want to go into them. Out of these two palettes, I've always preferred these special shades to these ones. So I'll think about it. Again, I have two months to uh, just see if I want to keep those shades or if I just want to declutter the whole palette, which likely I might just declutter the whole palette at that point. And yes, I do have a, a, sh a pan in there, but I don't really care. I don't care about decluttering palettes with pans my pan percentage will change so what it's changing every single day <laughs> so it's fine all right another one I have which is kind of sad because I got it because it's it's, a, it's not even nostalgic to me I just like Batman so I got this the dangerous in love from uh, makeup revolution and I had a tin palette from them previously and I thought that I actually had two and I got rid of both of them but one of them was the um I can't even remember, it was, I can't remember the name of it, it was the green one, the green one, the cannabis, I don't know, it's, it's the green one. Anyway, I got rid of it because it was just getting too old, um, but I felt like some shades in there, the formula was pretty good, and I was hoping, because this is like in the tin format, it would be the same, and it's just not, I feel like these are super, super dry, the mattes are fine, it's just nothing special about this palette, and I knew that going in, I knew it was going to be a very neutral leaning palette, but there's just, there's no shade in here that is actually like, oh that's really pretty, you know, they're, they're just all very, very, very mediocre. And I have a lot of neutral palettes now in my collection, so I'm not really sure if I really need to keep this. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to put it on the chopping block, see if I can get some more use. I haven't really been wanting to grab it either in my shop, my stashes, so this just gives me a reason to be like, okay, that's on your radar now, and are you going to use it? If I still don't use it, then at the, I should really just declutter it. Okay, this one makes me sad because I've had this over a year now and I still have not used all of the shades and it is the Berries palette from Beauty Bay. I got rid of my other two nine pans. I actually gave that. I sent them both to a subscriber so I don't know if you're still watching my, my channel but I sent them <laughs> to her and um, and hopefully she is using them. I had I had the the mini earthly one and the mini midnight one and so these, those were sent, but I hadn't used those. This one, I have used this shade and this shade, and that is it. So I haven't even dipped my hands in any of these shades, really, or done an actual pink look. And I don't know. I don't know why I'm not. I mean, I know that these colors are not typically ones that I go to all the time, but I definitely have done pink looks. I just have never used this palette for them. 
So again, I want to give myself a chance to use this over the next couple months. Otherwise, why am I holding on to it? I have had it for over a year and I have just not used it. That's, that's basically it. Okay, and then this is the last one, and this is the one that I did use today. I used a few of the shades today, and wasn't gonna include it in this video, but I think I have to. It is the Chilling in Chicago from BH Cosmetics. Now, this is in my year-long eyeshadow project pan, so I, I love this palette. Like, I didn't really think I, I would ever get to the point where I don't want to keep this palette. But the mattes in here are just not performing as I would like them to be. I went in with this shade today and it just blended into nothing. I also went into this shade, it blended into nothing, and I went into this shade and it blended into nothing. <laughs> So it didn't really do much. The shimmers are still pretty. So maybe I could depop the shimmers, try to keep them and just get rid of the mattes and then the palette itself and then I'll have a few, you know, loose singles. I'm just wary that once I do that, I'll just never go into those singles because I'm really bad at going into singles. But the mattes in here are just really horrendous. And this is the oldest BH Cosmetic palette that I own. I think I've had it for over three years. So I think, it makes sense that it's going. It just makes me sad because obviously you can't get these anymore. And yeah, it's sad that the formula is going. I don't know if anyone else has noticed their BH Cosmetics formula going if they're this old, but definitely the mattes just start blending into nothing. I couldn't really do much, so I had to go into a lot of different palettes for this look, which is fine, but it's just one of those things where I wasn't, I wasn't expecting it. So I might have to say goodbye to this. Um, but I did use it today, and I, you know, I'm, I'm, I need to use it in this project, so let's give it a couple of months, and if I'm still feeling the same way in a couple of months, I think I probably will just remove it from the project and let it go. All right, so that is my little video about all of the palettes that are on the chopping block. Are any of them a surprise to you? I'm sure they're not, because I've, t I've told you I don't like the quarter rose. I've told you about Odin's Eye many, many times. Um, there's a lot of other palettes in my collection that maybe I haven't used in a while, but I don't think I'm at the point that I want to get rid of them, so that's why they haven't appeared. These ones, I think if I let go of all of them, I would be fine. You know, if I really said goodbye to them today, would I really, really miss them tomorrow? Probably not, so that kind of gives you an indicator of where this is going, but I'm going to give myself the time needed to... A, try to pull them just organically. I do still want to just pull them when I want to pull them and not have to force myself to use them if I really don't feel like using them. And also maybe if the quality is just really bad, like the chilling in Chicago, there's really no need for me to keep it any longer, which is unfortunate. All right, but well, thank you so much for watching my little video and I will see you all next time. Bye.